Ever since I was a little boy, I dreamed of owning a real Mopar. Now it is time to start that dream. Let's go. She's a beer click. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, baby. <laughs> Nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over. Yes, this is the new channel car. This is why I got rid of the 1320 and bought a truck. A uh, little history on this car. This was owned by a gentleman named Dan Ryan. And unfortunately, he passed away from COVID in January. And uh, as soon as I saw this car come up for sale, I did not don't know Dan Ryan. But uh, after speaking to uh, Paul, the gentleman who sold it to me, it was a very, uh, a very heartfelt story of a of true Mopar guy. And after seeing this car and how well he took care of it, uh, I definitely wanted to, to carry this on. 
and go and race it again uh, in, in Dan's honor. Keep it moving forward. I mean, these cars are, are built and made to be driven at the track and help entertain and, and you know give kids the bug to go and, and get into cars and learn something, how to work on their own cars, whatever it may be. So uh, I'm very, very blessed to, uh, to be able to get this car and I look forward to just helping anybody who is kind of on the fence about getting into cars or getting into racing. I am going to learn this car front to back, top to bottom, and I'm going to learn how to actually be a racer. I, I, I've gone to the track and played around, but I've never tried to be a real drag racer. So this is going to be one heck of a journey, and I am so, so happy to share it with you guys. If you haven't, please hit like, smash the subscribe, because we're going to have some fun. Got what you bring, how you fight in the ring, how you take a fucking swing. Do you got heart? Are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs. Are you willing to go bleed?